Okay, we're going to look at the uh, Cartesian equation of a plane. And again, obviously, equation of a plane, we're talking about R3. Uh, but before we do that, remember in R2, we had a Cartesian equation of a line? So in R2, the Cartesian equation of a line was AX plus BY, where we got these numbers A and B from the normal vector, AB. But this only existed in R2. This equation did not exist for a line in R3. And the reason was the normal vector is not unique, right? There's lots of normal vectors uh, to a line in R3. And, and they're not all uh, perpendicular or parallel. They're not all scalar multiples of each other. But now we're going to talk about uh, the Cartesian equation of a plane in R3. So it's a line in R2, but we're going to go to a plane in R3. And you might be able to guess, right? If AX plus BY plus C was in R2, well, if we want to do it in R3, we're probably just going to add a, a Z. AX plus BY, and then I guess Maybe we'll have CZ, and then probably another constant. So it probably looks something like this. But the question is, where will this A, B, and C come from? Um, so let's, let's just think about an example. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Go up here. Um, let's think about, here I'll give you a vector equation of a plane. So we'll take 1, 0, 7, plus S, um, 1, 3, negative 9, plus t, 3, negative 2, 1, where s and t are real numbers. Okay? Well, remember when we talked about R2, the equation of lines in R2 had to do with the normal? So let's find the normal. What is a normal? What is a line? normal. A normal means perpendicular, right? What is a line perpendicular to this plane? Well, this is a direction vector on the plane. This is a direction vector on the plane. We know how to find a, a, a vector perpendicular to two other vectors. Okay. Um, the cross product, S cross T, is perpendicular to both S. What, I don't know where I got S and T from. I guess it would just be M1. M1 cross M2 is perpendicular to um, both M1 and M2. And since M1 and M2 are both on the plane, it, this vector must be, therefore, M1 cross M2 is perpendicular to the plane. So we could call it the normal to the plane. So let's find that vector. Let's find the vector perpendicular to this plane. M1 cross, oops. M2. Okay, so just using the cross product formula, it would be a 3 times 1 minus, uh, minus 9 times minus 2, second coordinate, minus 9 times 3 minus uh, 1 times 1. And then 1 times minus 2 times 3 times 3. So what is that? 3 um, minus 18, so minus 15, minus 27, minus 1, minus 28, and 
minus 2 minus or minus 11. Just check that that's right. So yes, that's good. Okay, so this vector is perpendicular to both. And you know what? We have negatives here, so let's just take the negative of this. Just so we don't have negatives. And we should know that that is also perpendicular, right? These two lines are parallel, so they, if one's perpendicular than the other one. So this vector here is perpendicular to that plane. Okay. Well, do we know what, what does that mean? That means that, actually, here's what we mean. So let's say if x, y, z is a point on the plane. So it's a general point on the plane. Then let's try to get a direction vector. And I know we already know two direction vectors, right? We already know this is a direction vector and this is a direction vector. But we're going to try to get an, another direction vector. And remember here that 1, 0, 7 is a point on the plane. So x, y, z is a point on the plane, but also 1, 0, 7 is a point on the plane. So another than um, m. Well, the, ve the vector connecting these two points, so it would be x minus 1, y minus 0, z minus 7, is a general direction vector. Okay? So why do we do that? Well, if this is a point, if this is a vector on the plane, and this is a vector perpendicular to the plane, then these two vectors must be perpendicular. But if these two vectors are per perpendicular, that means their dot product, this thing, I'll just write y instead of y minus 0, and the dot product of this must be equal to 0. Why? Because they're perpendicular, right? Dot products of perpendicular vectors are equal to zero. Well, what happens now? So 15 times x minus 1 plus 28 times y plus 11 times z minus 7 equals zero. So 15x minus 15 plus 28y plus 11z minus 77 equals 0, 15x plus 28y plus 11z uh, minus, was that, 92 equals 0. Hey, look at that. That looks like what we thought the scalar or vector or uh, Cartesian equation would look like. So this is the Cartesian equation of the plane. And where did this, these numbers 15, 28, and 11 come from? Well, remember, that's this vector here, the normal vector. Okay, so let's just generalize that, right? If um, n a so n is a normal vector, a normal vector to a plane. Then a x plus b y plus c z plus now d is equal to zero is the Cartesian, or we have other names, Cartesian, Scalar, uh, well, it's Cartesian, those are two names, Cartesian or Scalar equation of said plane. So in R3, you have a Cartesian or Scalar equation of a plane, and in R2, it was of a line.
Okay, so you have to remember that distinction.